Alright, first thing you do is to go to uh, Insanely Mac and Pipbox Zero wrote a very good um, tutorial on how to install um, fabrics in the virtual box. So I just follow exactly as his instruction and this is just a video part of what he's doing and the only thing different is this one is going to be one is i7 4510u cpu uh it's hd 4400 So we're going to click new, give it a name like Mavericks, it automatically will detect for you already. So we want 4 gig of RAM so it can run faster. And then just use dynamic virtual disk you can put a bigger size if you like All right. so after that we're going to go to the setting so the system uncheck the EFI booting Graphic display to make a maximum and mount this uh, Maverick uh, boot ISO that you download from the website. And everything I just leave the same as standard and by default. Okay. So we click start, it should boot from the boot disk, which is very nice. So now we're going to have to change the uh, DVD to the Maverick I saw that we made supposedly and now we're going to hit F5 so it will change to uh, the installation ISO okay and I use minus V minus F minus X to make sure it's going to boot into place but it doesn't it stop it's stuck right here okay we need to patch the uh, Mavericks virtual box uh, to the older system so we need to open the uh, command CMD and we're going to go to Oracle virtual box and we right click and we copy the uh, address now we're going to CD to that folder so inside of the folder they have a command that we need to use and there's a whole bunch of um, data that we need to uh, to patch so go to the website 
and uh, you can get this one from my website I just put it in there and now you patch it now we can install all right now we need to reload the uh, boot CD again and start and we're gonna do we're gonna load the um, Maverick ISO again And we click F5 again. And now just do the bubbles. And now minus X. So it has been uh, fast forwarded uh, 16 times. So it took a long time. So now we get a screen. So we're going to go to uh, this utility and we need to repartition this virtual disk. So make sure it's a GUID partition. one partition the option the GUID and Mac OS journal and call it Mavericks whatever the name you want it to be okay So now it's done, we can close it. So when it's done, uh, it's going to reboot and it's going to uh, crash. So we're going to close it and we put we reload the input disk and boot from there. Okay, but this time. We're going to boot to the uh, new install partition. You can do just minus V and minus F. And it should run. This one is also fast forward 16 times. until we got to the screen like this. So the first thing we should do is to uh, set up the preference. So now we need to install the two kegs that supply uh, that is the fake SMC and the no CPU power management. After installing the uh, two kegs, uh, we can uh, boot straight from the uh, partition. 
without a boot disk. So now we can set up um, the storage, remove the boot disk. And we have to uh, turn on the EFI boot. Okay, so what can you do with the um, Mavericks in VirtualBox? Well, the resolution is only 1024 by 768. Yep. So you can transfer files. So this is the desktop right here. So, does it have uh, no translucent? Uh, I think it's better to uh, install dual boot or two separate partitions better than the virtual box. Actually I like uh, to install Windows on virtual box in Mac OS is better. 